Our freshmen just concluded one of the most successful summers any incoming freshman class has had. They had a cumulative uh, GPA of 3.09 with six credit hours. We're very, very proud of them. Uh, yesterday, uh, we came to the conclusion of the house that we built for Habitat for Humanity. So we're very proud of that as well. So it's been a very, very busy summer uh, for our football program and our football players. And, uh, everyone's forgotten, which I don't think they have, but we actually started practice August 1st. So uh, we're excited. We're, we're getting ready to go. And, you know, a couple of things I'll share with you. Uh, I really believe uh, each and every year we come up with a theme. Uh, I think it's a theme that uh, is really very, very important to that team. And that's why we're team more important. No two teams are ever the same. There'll never be another team 119. And when this concludes, there'll, there'll never be another team 120 because every team is unique. Uh, it has its own moving dynamics. Uh, the great thing about college football at this time of year is optimism is very high. Uh, everybody expects and everybody thinks they're going to be champions uh, come December and January. Uh, but the great thing about college football is about one third of every college football team changes. They change the graduation, departures, so there's new opportunities. There's new opportunities for leadership. Uh, there's new opportunities for roles. Some individuals that maybe perform on special teams have a little bit of more of a role now in the next year. Uh, new freshmen coming in. So there's a lot of moving parts and pieces. So the team this year uh, for Team 120 is owned. Uh, and I think it's very symbolic of everything. Uh, and with own it, it's own your attitude. Own your capacity for work. Uh, own your ownership in the team. Own your style of play. Own your academics. Own your personal brand. Own your reputation. And own the expectations. Uh, that's that's what we come here is you know when we walk into the room of our senior class the amazing thing is everybody talks to you have all this experience yeah because we had to play a lot of freshmen we only had 11 seniors in our football club and it's really truly amazing but when we walk into these 11 seniors living room for 31 days for some of the recruiting class we talked about uh, the legacy that they could leave here with putting Tennessee football, football back on the football map and really bringing Tennessee back to the, its rightful place among the elite of college football. And they took that responsibility, they took it and they ran with it. And I'm very, very proud of them. And they witnessed it all. Uh, one of the best times I had is uh, I went to dinner, my wife and I went to dinner with our three representatives at SEC Media Day, Cam Sutton, Jalen Reese Bacon, and Joshua Dobbs. And uh, we sat around the table and ate dinner, and I heard the stories uh, of how far we've come. And it really made me proud to see how far they've come as individuals, as football players, but really as the standards and expectations internally have grown amongst our football fans. And I'll tell you this, I had probably about 50 members of the working media that I truly trust and respect. Yeah, there's probably about 50. And uh, from a national stage, come up and tell me uh, how much our players represented. They were the best representatives uh, for the University of Tennessee and for the state of Tennessee, for Ball Nation, and all of collegiate football in the Southeastern Conference. And they truly did a remarkable job. But as we move on, uh, everything is about owning. So this summer, I was thinking about what thing in sport is very symbolic of teamwork, accountability, do your job, and precision. You have to be right when it counts. And because we've talked about, obviously it's been well documented, uh, Tennessee football's 13-5 in the last 18 games, and those five losses have come by a combined total of 25 points, so we're searching for those 25 points. But when we go back, it was clutch plays. It was critical plays and critical moments in the game, whether it was a sack, whether it was a first down, whether it was a catch. You know, we went back 
and we studied it, uh, and we had you know, some teams, they had a player step up that was Superman. Uh, one team, uh, we had down in the fourth quarter with four minutes to go, we had a wide receiver make two great, great plays on third down to keep the drive out. So we talked about clutch plays and what it means and to give you an example of how far we've come with our football program. I think this is a great story that happened in the spring. Is <coughs> Jalen Reeves maybe comes to me and says, Coach, I've put together a video that I'd like to show the team today. And everyone knows that uh, you get what you expect. So I proof everything. If somebody's going to come talk to our team or they're going to show something, but I trust you. And I said, okay, I said, well, what's the thing you want? Because coach is searching for the 25 points. I didn't prove it. So he goes up in front of the team and he puts together this video and he starts talking about himself. We always talk about eat, leaders eat last. There's servant leadership. You take care of your troops. It's troops welfare. It's making sure they're okay. Then you eat last because they eat first. 